It's quite surreal to be honest because we had you know, so much of a sporting emphasis on the lead up mm. and then all of a sudden everything just stops and you, f you finish racing, you go and see friends and family and, and then you end up with a little bit of a, a void with your life <laughs> with which you used to be doing sort of five, six hours of training a day and all of a sudden you've got nothing to do with those hours and you put four years of your life into maybe more than four years for some athletes but into, into one race, six and a bit minutes for us. Um, and you come out with a result which isn't good enough for you. And, and it's bizarre because you make the, everybody else seems very happy and it, you know, over the moon we got a silver medal, but for us we, we went there for a gold medal and nothing else. We weren't going to be happy with anything other than a gold medal and that's in a way the sort of atmosphere you have to create as an athlete is, is to be aiming for nothing less than gold. Um, and then to finish with the silver was at the time completely devastating. Um, and as you say, heartbreaking. But I think in the in sort of the couple of couple of weeks we've had since now, well, ten days or so since we've finished racing, it's been really lovely to see everybody's reactions and to get so many messages of, of support and congratulations. And it's made me realise that actually, you know what, it was the very best race we could have done. We couldn't have done any more. And I'm, I'm whilst I'm not happy with the silver, I'm still proud of it. The memory's got to be the, su the support, massive, massive support from everyone there. I mean, Dorney, Dorney is, a, is a fantastic venue anyway, the lake's brilliant, but you fill it with 30,000 people who are massively enthusiastic about Olympics, about sport, about being part of the whole British Olympic experience, and the, f the atmosphere was phenomenal. Had to have so many people screaming and shouting, it was just mm. absolutely unbelievable, and that, and that just made it so much more enjoyable and so much more exciting for us athletes. I think the first few results really helped to encourage people to support and with that support came more results and with the results came more support and it, it just built through the whole game. You could really feel the atmosphere around the Olympic Park particularly but also you know, around here I came, I came back home after we finished competing and there was you know, Olympic fever all over the country. The team, not just the rowing team, you know, obviously the most successful rowing team we've had for, for just over a hundred years. Um, but the whole British team, we were so well supported as, as athletes that we were able to just completely focus on our, on our performances on, out um, on the track or on the water, um, in the gym, wherever, and the team massively outperformed. I think we were aiming for sort of I think 49 medals and we were well into the 60s by the time we finished so you know as, as part of a team I think we as a country can be massively proud of, of what we can produce um, a small country, a small island in the middle of the sea you know when we've got other countries who plough huge amounts more funding into sport than we do and it just shows that we've got true British grit to get on and, and win stuff.